NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has given us our first up-close look at the dwarf planet Pluto, and the images it captured are truly breathtaking. Out of the 17 known planets in the universe, Pluto is one of the most intriguing. It was once considered a full-sized planet, but in 2006, the International Astronomical Union reclassified it as a dwarf planet. Determined to learn more about Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, NASA launched the New Horizons mission to study the Pluto system through a flyby. The spacecraft took nine years to reach Pluto, and when it finally did, on July 14, 2015, it captured images of the mysterious world that were unlike anything we had ever seen before. These images showed unexpected and previously unknown features, leading to new concepts and understandings about Pluto. This groundbreaking discovery has the potential to change our perspective on the universe and our place in it. Now the question on everyone's mind is, what did the New Horizons spacecraft observe and discover during its flyby of Pluto? And more importantly, what does this discovery mean for mankind and our understanding of the universe at large? Get ready to find out as we uncover the secrets that were previously hidden by nature and are now being revealed through the lens of science. Grab some popcorn and join us as we delve into the mysteries of the cosmos and the dwarf planet Pluto. Before we delve deeper into the topic, let's take a moment to review some background information about Pluto. As the largest known dwarf planet in the solar system, Pluto is located in a strange region of the Milky Way called the Kuiper Belt, which is located beyond the orbit of Neptune. The Kuiper Belt is similar to the asteroid belt in that it contains remnants from the early history of the solar system, but it is more like a thick disk rather than a narrow belt. The densest part of the Kuiper Belt is located between 42 and 48 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It is believed to contain thousands of objects larger than 62 miles in diameter and billions of smaller objects, many of which are short-period comets. The region is also home to several dwarf planets, which are small circular worlds that are too massive to be classified as asteroids, but too small to be considered planets. Although Pluto was the first known object in the Kuiper Belt to be identified, Astronomers did not recognize it as such until other Kuiper Belt objects were discovered. Pluto, the most distant planet from the Sun, is known for its freezing temperature of minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit. With a radius of 738 miles, it was once considered a planet by NASA, but later reclassified as a dwarf planet. The discovery of Pluto was predicted by American astronomer Percival Lowell, based on deviations he observed in the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. In 1930, Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto at the Lowell Observatory, and it was named after the Roman god of the underworld by an 11-year-old girl. It wasn't until 2015 that we were able to get a close-up look at Pluto, thanks to NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. The flyby of Pluto yielded stunning images that showed a diverse range of surface features, measuring the diameter of Pluto at 1,473 miles, which is about one-fifth the size of Earth and smaller than our Moon. As scientists continue to study the images taken by the New Horizons spacecraft during its flyby of Pluto, they have made some surprising discoveries about the surface of the dwarf planet. For example, they have observed very high mountains reaching heights of 11,000 feet, which are made of methane frost rather than volcanic material. The surface of Pluto is composed of methane and nitrogen ice, which is not strong enough to support such tall mountains. It is also thought that the mountain bedrock may be made of water ice. One of the most striking features of the Pluto images is the reflective light rays from the ice across the surface of the planet which appear as a colorful spectrum to the human eye. The topography of Pluto is similar to that of Earth, with ice ridge terrain that has a snake-like movement, but the landscapes are more prominent and taller, with some reaching heights of 16,500 feet. The Tombaugh Regio, also known as the Heart, is a significant feature captured in the images, with the left side containing smooth carbon monoxide ice. This is known as the Sputnik Planum, 
which plays a central role in regulating the orbit and atmospheric conditions of the dwarf planet. The images taken by the New Horizons spacecraft suggest that Pluto is a relatively young planet, with an estimated age of less than 100 million years. NASA scientists have concluded that the Sputnik planum was formed through geologic processes, as there are no visible meteorite impact craters. Despite the belief that Pluto is a lifeless world, the images show a number of active features, such as mountainous glaciers, dunes, and icy terrains. There are also long dark lines visible in the images, which are believed to be caused by harsh winds that have worn away the icy surface. These lines may also be evidence of complex organic molecules on the surface of Pluto. Some scientists speculate that Pluto may have a subsurface ocean beneath its layers of ice, although it could also be due to rock movement or a thick layer of ice. The mystery of Pluto's interior remains unsolved, but if it does have a liquid ocean, it is possible that life could thrive there. Pluto stands out from the other planets because it orbits the Sun in an oval shape, with the Sun located off-center. Its orbit is irregular, which may be due to its retrograde rotation. Pluto is located 3.7 billion miles from the Sun, making it difficult to study. It can sometimes come closer to the Sun and release nitrogen and methane gas as some of its ice thaws. Pluto's distance from the Sun is so great that it becomes the planet farthest from the Sun, overtaking Neptune. Scientists have a rare opportunity to study this distant and cold world when it comes close to Neptune in its orbit. Its low gravity leads to a high altitude, much higher than that of Earth. It is surprising that Pluto is able to retain its atmosphere and experience strong winds at such a high altitude. It has a colorful atmosphere that is caused by gravitational waves or air over its mountains, although it is weak and too thin to support the flow of liquids. In the latest images from NASA's New Horizons mission, a frozen lake has been discovered in the Tombaugh region on Pluto, hinting at the possibility that the dwarf planet may have had a thicker atmosphere in the past. Previously, it was believed that Pluto had only three moons, the new images reveal the existence of two additional moons, Nix and Hydra. These moons show evidence of canyons on their surfaces, with some reaching depths of up to 6 miles and cliffs and troughs extending for up to 600 miles. The absence of craters on the surface of the moons indicates that they are geologically active and relatively young. There are also signs of surface landslides, which have never before been observed in the Kuiper Belt. Alan Stern, the principal investigator from the Southwest Research Institute, commented on the significance of these discoveries, saying, the solar system has truly saved the best for last with these new moons of Pluto. These latest updates from the New Horizons mission have opened up a whole new world of possibilities for future space exploration. It is clear that no other planet in our solar system can compare to the exciting features found on Pluto's surface. The images taken by the New Horizons spacecraft during its flyby have provided valuable insights into the nature of other planets in the Kuiper Belt. After its encounter with Pluto, the New Horizons spacecraft also flew by Arakoth, another object in the Kuiper Belt. As Pluto continues to reveal its secrets, it is likely that we will continue to be amazed by this fascinating world and all it has to offer. If you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you think about these images. Space out.